Oil prices are up this morning again. Uh, we are looking at 14-year highs, Ryan. As you heard here yesterday, House lawmakers did introduce that bill we were expecting to ban Russian oil imports. President Biden uh, apparently uh, reportedly traveling to Saudi Arabia. He wants the Saudis to pump more oil the way he wants the Venezuelans to pump more oil, but no word on Canada. Canada is suggesting that its oil could replace America's imports of Russian oil, but he needs to approve the XL pipeline. Your reaction to the move in oil? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think bottom line is it's a very, very small amount that we actually import from Russia. It's something like, you know, 700,000 barrels a day. Put that in perspective, Europe's importing like 4.5 uh, million barrels a day from, from Russia. So I think it would be very easy for us to offset if we put sanctions on Russia. We don't import their oil, whether we get it from Venezuela. Uh, it's hard to believe we're trying to negotiate with the Saudis. That's another story altogether. Um, but it is a very, very tricky position to be in here because if you ban Russian oil, does that push the price up even higher? And does that benefit Putin, who could maybe offload more oil to places like China? Um, and for the Democrats right now, if you're Biden, it's a very tricky place to be because if you push inflation higher and you push oil prices higher, what does that mean with the midterm? So it's really dicey right now. I mean, I did fall off my chair almost when Dennis Garvin said he might get a little bit bullish here in the short term. Um, <laughs> but, you know, if you really look at our economy in general, uh, you really need oil to get to like 130 a barrel before it becomes really prohibitive to the economy. So, I, you know, I still think the economy is going to remain strong here. I think oil prices could go higher here, but you know, prices have gone parabolic here. Um, and to Dennis's point, when you start seeing big moves up in commodity prices and he's talking about gold, you may get some sort of sell off here somewhere uh, just because prices have ratcheted up so much over the course of the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And you could see some profit taking here because of speculation. So which makes me a little more bullish on the economy, uh, you know, than Dennis usually, but we're on the same page today. So I'll take it.